Thank you for your interest in the Telex Radio Dispatch products. This short video will describe the features that have been added or changed in the CSOFT software. We are always striving to improve our products as well as our training on them. We hope that you find this video useful and, as always, welcome your comments or suggestions. Here now is your trainer and subject matter expert, Dan Bixby. Thank you, Megan. One of the first things you will notice with the new CSOFT is that it is installed using an install program. This allows you to choose your default console file and open any file up by double clicking on it. Please refer to the instructions when installing CSOFT 5. Once you've installed version 5, take some time to observe the new items that have been added to improve the overall appearance to your digital console. For example, a button border thickness field was added to the appearance tab in the global parameters. This field controls the width of the UI button borders. The field ranges from 0 to 10, and 5 is the default thickness. The button border thickness increases as the value becomes larger. On this tab, you will notice that the button flash colors allow the user to choose the color the select button will blink when receiving one of the four call types. Those four call types are call alert, emergency, group call, and select call. On the control settings tab, the open on activity checkbox was removed and assigned as a per pop-up window option located in the pop-up window control setup. Several new buttons have also been added to CSOFT version 5. The Annunciation button allows the user to send a pre-recorded WAV file to radio users. The button will wait to send the WAV file until all console TX traffic and any RX traffic on the line ceases, and then it will send the file in the order the Annunciation buttons were pressed. The WAV file must be saved with a 16-bit 8.000 kHz sample rate. If needed, this can be changed by using Microsoft Sound Recorder, which is installed by default on the Telex Nexus Dispatch Console and on Windows computers. The Level field identifies the relative change in dB in the level of the WAV file. The range for this field is minus 30 to 10 dB. The Send on Select field allows the user to determine which lines the WAV file will be sent on. If this field is unchecked, the wave will be sent on the line associated to the button in the type dialog. If this field is checked, the wave file will be sent on all selected lines. Due to an emergency, it is necessary to evacuate the terminal building. Several changes were made to the input indication setup button. The active high field was moved into its own group box polarity. The enunciation of input change group box was also modified. The existing radio button options of no beep and beep for x seconds were replaced with a checkbox. If the beep for x seconds checkbox is checked, the console will beep for the entered time duration upon a relay change. If the checkbox is not checked, the console will not beep. The Play drop-down menu contains all of the enunciation buttons which exist in the design field. When the Play checkbox is checked, the console will play the WAV file configured in the selected enunciation button upon an input change. In a system configuration with parallel consoles, it is recommended that only one console be configured to play a WAV file on an input change. This will prevent multiple consoles attempting to transmit the WAV file simultaneously. The NINA hold function allows the console operator to place the NINA connected line to the ADHB4 on hold. While the NINA is on hold status, no TX audio is sent to the NINA and RX audio is sent to a specified unselect speaker. Also, a NINA mute button has been added to allow the console operator to mute the NINA audio. The NINA indication button is used for indicating whether the NINA line is on or off hook. It also has the speaker icon to show the audio routing for the NINA on the ADHB4. An additional field was added to the Relay Control property page. When checked, the Activate Relay on PTT will trigger the configured relay on any console generated transmit event except for intercom and intercom per line. The relay will also be triggered whenever a phone line is taken off hook. 
On the Select Button Setup property page, the Blink Border on Receive group was added. This group box contains the settings used to control blinking the Select Button's border while the console is receiving on that line. The three options for border blinking are 1. No blinking 2. Blink for X number of seconds or 3. Blink until PTT. The blink color is the color the console will use when blinking the border. A new activity icon was added to the select button. The mute LED will be displayed on the select button in the upper right hand corner whenever that line is muted. The user can customize the icon by adding a file named muteled.bmp in the same directory as the executable file. The open window on activity feature was added to the pop-up window control setup. This feature automatically opens a pop-up window if line activity is occurring within the pop-up window. The clock control is a new user interface type for Seasoft. The clock is a customizable control which can be used to either display the local time or the time of any of the world's 33 time offsets. The clock can be added through either the insert menu or the right click menu. It can be moved, resized, and copied in the same manner as the existing UI button and UI volume controls. The clock control property page allows the user to customize the appearance of the clock and determine what time the clock should display. Please note that this video does not cover changes made to support the ADHB4 product. Those will be covered separately. As mentioned before, we are always trying to improve our products as well as our training. We hope that you found this video useful and welcome your comments or suggestions.